it's time to make yet another wildly unpopular video, but stick around, listen to what I have to say. Many preppers are just sheep of a different flock. We always talk about how the normies, if you will, are sheep and they just listen to mainstream and just go with whatever it says, but we don't look at the preppers that do. Prepping channels constantly lie to beef up fear mongering in order to get more people to click on more of their content. Happens all the time, every single day. Just today as an example, Baron Dependent, he's a common violator of this. He talked about how what happened with yes yesterday with Meta was a hack. They were it was a cyber attack. Nothing to do with a cyber attack. He doesn't provide a source because he doesn't have a source. All he is doing is putting into the emotions and the feelings of the people watching his channel. It doesn't have to be true. They don't care if it's true. Now you tell me how that differs from any other kind of sheep. It doesn't. It doesn't a single bit. I put out a video earlier explaining about what happened with the Meta servers yesterday. If Meta or Facebook was cyber attacked, you wouldn't have been able to access their websites at all. That was not the case. You were simply not able to log in. The website was still there. All the data, all the information was still there. You just couldn't log into it. Why? Because the authentication servers were down. Were they hacked? No. Meta is pushing updates to their system so that they can comply with the new EU laws. So they were simply either testing it or trying to implement it one or the other and ran into technical difficulties. It happens. There's a lot of times you run into difficulties when you do updates. It's not all that uncommon. How many websites has Bear himself built? How many scripts has he written? None, you say? Hmm. You know, he puts out a Bear brief. Nowhere in the Bear brief is there anything linking to anywhere saying that yesterday was a cyber attack? Nowhere. Yet, with his full authority of God, he tells everybody about how Meta was brought down by a cyber attack. God does not like liars. God does not like lukewarm people. I only say that because he wants to stand on that pedestal of the Father. And maybe you shouldn't if you don't have the ability to police your own words. It's kind of funny that, and it's not just him, it's so many of these different prepper channels. I just pulled him out as an example because, well, he's a daily liar. He makes stuff up. He does anything he can to, to make his listeners happy his viewers happy, and hey, you know, what's it matter as long as it brings in that bankroll, you know what I mean? And sadly, that's what is going on in a lot of the prepping community. You have these channels that are doing everything they can to make their viewers happier, to keep their viewers interested in their content, but the sad truth of the matter is, a lot of these people are no different than the sheep that follow mainstream media and believe everything that they say. Think about what I'm saying before you click that thumbs down because boy, there's a lot of people that hate the truth. A lot of people that hate the truth. And I know I am not a good presenter. I know that my delivery sucks, but maybe that's what people need. Maybe people need somebody that will just speak to them instead of speaking over them. You know, I don't understand how any of us can be in a better position when we're following people that constantly lie. Shalom.